everybody, welcome back to the Omogima YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how you can get this look right here. This look is me taking my sugar skull, if you do not know what my sugar skull looks like or what I'm even talking about look right here last week friday i was doing face painting at el padrino for day of the dead day of the dead is a mexican holiday and el padrino is a mexican restaurant so of course they are gonna celebrate it they called me and they asked me if i would be doing if i would do face paint for them and i was so excited and i decided that if i was gonna go do the face paint i have to do like a really good one on my face first did this blue and purple sugar skull look which i absolutely fucking love i loved the look i love how it came out so i decided i was gonna take that look and make it into a more wearable not every day but wearable before we begin please do not forget to subscribe to the omega my youtube channel i'd love to have you guys here on this side of the internet we are here we're just having fun we're chilling i'd love for you to join my family i would really really do also when you click on that subscribe button do not forget to click on the notification bell so that you'll always get notifications of whenever i upload a new video which are thursdays and saturdays and sometimes a random tuesday as well without wasting any more of your time let's get started in today's video Alright guys, so we are going to start this look out with the eyes because the eyes are literally the focal point of this look. First thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids. I'm going to be using the House of Tara concealer to do this. It's been a while since I've done a talk through video, which was not like a get ready with me or anything. Using a concealer this light is going to allow your eyeshadows to show much brighter this is a single eyeshadow from the brand glam girls i really wish they worked with influencers more but they don't um i went to an event that he had and they had a goodie bag and this was in it this is a matte eyeshadow in the shade me18 and i'm going to be using my evita joseph deluxe blender brush which is this nice packed brush i'm going to pack that all over the lid yeah let's let's get it started okay let's go in with the color now it's one of those matte eyeshadows that you have to build up and I don't mind building it up. Also really nice and blendable. If this brand is at Beauty Africa, I might just see if I can splurge some monies on it. By the way, I don't know if you guys know, I'm gonna be talking at Beauty Africa this year. I have always been a blogger sponsor, but I've never been a speaker. And then I think one year, I remember one year I was thinking to myself that, man, I really wish I could speak at Beauty Africa. I really wish I could speak at Beauty Africa. And then this year the opportunity came up and I was like, oh, Fuck yes. So I'm really, really excited about that. To blend out the edges of this, it's very blue. I'm gonna take my other blending brush, which is why it's very good to have multiple brushes. So I'm taking this one, it's clean, and I'm literally just diffusing those edges a little bit. I don't know why I'm acting like I've done this look on one eye, because like now I've moved on to the next step with this and I should not be doing that. Like last week, I will not lie, was like one of the best weeks of my life. <laughs> I don't know how to really explain it. The Halloween videos, and me doing makeup at El Padrino, not makeup, but face painting at El Padrino. I've, I've literally been having a lot of fun. Like, I don't know how to explain it. And I'm, I'm loving it. I'm, I'm loving my new spirit right now. I think I've mentioned this before, but I'm having a meet and greet, so yeah. Tickets are 5,000 now. And I know a couple of people are gonna complain that it's expensive. I wanted to address this, but I didn't want to address it. And like, I don't know how to explain it, address it, but the reason why tickets are 5,000 now is because the ticket is covering food and drink, and it's also covering venue. Before, in the past, I used to cover everything, like the food, the drink, everything used to come from my pocket. This year, I can't do that, but I'm happy I'm able to partner with like a really great place, El Padrino. So like, it's not expensive. Like I know there's some restaurants, like if I wanted to do like an event per head, they'll be charging like seven, eight K and that's just for food. Next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna further define, define this look. This is the House of Tara Quad Eyeshadows Palette in Isa. This is the shade I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take my crease brush and take this navy blue right here, pop it into the crease to further deepen that out Oof, that is a look right there i like it i like it but i'm not taking this anywhere i'm just pushing it literally in the crease and because of the way my eyes are it's obviously gonna get on my lid and it's gonna get like 
on that transition area as well now right there that's where the darkness is ending so that needs to blend so I'm gonna take the brush we used before without any adding without adding any new products and I'm gonna buff that right there so that everything blends up nicely Ooh, I'm just looking at myself in the viewfinder and I love what I see now we're gonna move into the purple so my sugar skull was basically teal and purple so it was teal on the outside and purple on the inside on the lid now before I could just jump in with the purple I want to do a little bit of like a transition so I'm gonna take this purple from the Elsa Pro palette this is the um, six color eyeshadow palette in 03 this is what that palette looks like I'm gonna take this brush brush <laughs> And I'm gonna take that pad right there. With this, I'm gonna be very careful because I don't want to get this purple up here. So I'm really going to concentrate it right down here, bit by bit. Just add it bit by bit. And because they're both such dark colors, it's going to look black, but it's not black. Like if somebody from far from here, like you're not able to see the purple, but if you come really nice and close, you can see the purple. Now, this is not the tricky part, but this is the blending part. I'm gonna take the crease brush that I used before, with the navy blue, and just go over the edge like that. And then, I'm gonna go in with the other brush and blend that. Looks like this require blending. We are done with that for this eye. I have to repeat this on this eye. Now the final, 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 the final look. Now first, I'm gonna put down a base of black. Putting black down on, and putting a shimmer on top makes it look really, really nice. I'm gonna take this pencil from Kudi Cosmetics. It's actually one of my favorite pencils. Yes, it's a creamy Kajal liner. I love this pencil so much. I'm gonna put it on the lid where I want to put the glittery eyeshadow. So I don't know if you guys know, but MAC, does eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> this is the Queen Supreme eyeshadow palette from MAC. I think this is part of their holiday collection for 2018. Well, I got this at an event. MAC Cosmetics had an event uh, before, the day before Fashion Week. They had an event. And inside the goodie bag, they gifted us this eyeshadow palette right here, which I think is so pretty. The problem I have with this packaging is that why is the, the names on this paper and it's like detachable? Like if you're gonna do this, just, you know, do it so that it's attached but now i can lose this it's very easy for me to lose because i'm that's, that's the kind of person i am so but this is the palette it's a palette of shimmers and one big old highlighter like that i've used these three golden shades here but today we're going to be using this shade which is called royal caper yes we're going to be using royal caper i'm going to use my finger because i feel like these shadows apply much better with finger this is what that shadow looks like i'm going to swatch on the back of my hand so pretty it's like a dark purple with like sh silver reflex which i think will tie in very well with this look Ooh. Ooh. i love this it's so dark and sexy now i don't need to do anything further to the eyes like i don't need to do any more shadow work at this moment so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use lashes yes the lashes i'm gonna be using today are the Lashed Ray John lashes, but I'm gonna attempt to put on my lashes on camera for you guys today I know I don't do it because like I'm embarrassed at How badly I apply lashes, so I put the lash glue on a little platform here I'm applying it to my lashes. I'm paying very particular attention to the ends and because that's where lashes for me start to act like I offended them. So while I'm waiting for the lash glue to dry, I'm gonna put on some mascara. This is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Smoky Eyes Mascara. I really like this mascara because it just like, it does something. And then on top of this, I'm gonna put this on first and then I'm going to layer on the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. I feel like Maybelline has the best mascara, like drugstore mascara out there. The lash is nice. The glue is tacky. Let's do this. Not sticking. I don't know what I did. Maybe it wasn't maybe it wasn't dry enough. Let me try the other lash. Maybe that will work. Okay, so this lash was ready for me. Because it laid down instantly, as you can see, lashes there. So what I like to do is press my lashes together. Oh, so if I notice like somewhere is not sticking down right, I'll take that into there. Because the lash glue 
will dry down, dry, and clear. This white thing that you see now is going to go away. While I'm waiting for the other lash to dry up, I'm going to take my primer. Today's primer is the Black Opal True Color Perfecting Primer. This is a glowy primer that I really, really like. I'm going to need a new one soon, as you can see. It's about to finish. It's really, like, it's, it's tacky. Today's foundation is a fave. It's an actual fave. You guys know it's one of my favorite foundations. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Mahogany. First tried it, I didn't really like it because I felt like it wasn't my shade. I felt like it was too red for me. But now, I absolutely love it. Taking my brush, my blending brush, and just blending it into my skin. That is it, guys. That's look at that foundation look at it just work on my skin this is why it's a fave even though they do not have the best shade range like if you're able to find your shade in this like it's a really good foundation oh my second lash is on i didn't know that for concealer i'm gonna be using a new fave you guys know this concealer this is the maybelline fit me concealer i love it so much I'm going to sweep this under my eyes conceal those bags i'm gonna take dot 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 this concealer is really bringing out the yellow back in my skin all right to set my under eyes i'm going to be using the black opal true color ultra foundation powder if you know i have really dry under eyes so i don't like to use setting powders anymore so i just use a flat powder like this this way i'm able to control how matte because with setting powders, with those powders, yo, you can get very matte. So I'm going to be using the e.l.f. contour palette. I'm going to use my angled Abitalosum brush. And contour up like this. Then contour this place as well. And contour that jawline. You got to look like you've not been eating cake. Rub a little bit of this against my nose. Next, we are going to highlight. And I'm going to be highlighting with this palette right here. This highlight is too silvery for me on a regular day but because this look doesn't go with like a bronze it doesn't go with like a bronzy golden highlight i'm going to be using this highlight um the name of the highlight is called insta insta queen take my take this on a small fluffy blender i use the vita just a fluffy blender as a highlight brush try not to use too much what i'll do is i'll apply and then i'll blend I'm gonna take the same brush with the highlight and just down my nose like that. Pat it there. Then take this, blend it out. Now, if you think you've applied too much highlighter, don't worry, I'm gonna show what you can do. Then I'm gonna take whatever's left of my brush and just go up here. Now we need to finish with the eyes. I'm gonna take the first blue we used and take that crease brush and stamp it down here. Then I'm gonna take the purple, the dark purple. I'm gonna just stamp that there as well I'm going to finish off my eyes with the mascara the maybelline colossal express to correct my overly highlighted nose and i feel like i'm too yellow under here i'm going to take my maybelline fit me loose finishing powder nice big old blending brush like when you take a finishing powder or a loose setting powder and you rub it all over like your makeup it kind of tones it down brings it down brings it back to earth also it helps to set the areas that you didn't set your face now for the lips i am first going to take this black pencil yeah and i'm going to use it to just darken the edges blend it out, out, out. today's lipstick is the maybelline um, color sensational lipstick in the shade sapphire siren this is actually the lipstick i used on that day such a delicious color. I'm gonna finish it off with a MAC lipstick. This is the shade All I Want, and I'm gonna apply it right to the center. So it adds like a kind of ombre effect with the black on the outside, the blue, and then the silverish, the silver in the middle. The finishing step on this bold sapphire blue look is a setting spray. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Setting Spray. Locks in your makeup for 24 hours, which means I'm in. And I have nowhere to go. It's so funny. But yeah, you have to shake it up really well because it separates and if you don't mix it well, white dots will just be all over your face. And then what I always do to check, spray it on my hand. If I don't see any white dots, it's safe to go on my face. Now that looks better. 
it looks really powdery and heavy before and that is it for today's look guys i hope you enjoyed it i enjoyed it as well i had a lot of fun putting this look together especially since this was the first time i'm actually doing it and if you guys want to see more makeup tutorials again i know that makeup tutorials do not get the best rap on it on youtube anymore but i still want to do them i enjoy doing makeup tutorials so if you guys enjoy these makeup tutorials do let me know what you think in the comment section below also do not forget to subscribe to don't make it my youtube channel click on the notification bell give this video a thumbs up because it helps my channel and do not forget to be awesome i'll see you guys in my next video bye My drop top down Calling up my digits in my Motorola And I'm speeding like I robbed someone Falling and I'm a whip Yeah, out in Fairfax